Hello folks, my name is Joshua Brown. I am the unseen history buff. I am a history guy that looks for unseen history and um, finds history all over the place and tries to bring it to you on YouTube. This is probably going to be my first video about this so-called item. Now I'm a history guy and I talk about history that's probably unseen, unknown, you know, those kind of things. The history I'm about to tell you about is actually so unseen that people don't really like it. And, you know, it's it's a fairy ruin. This right here is called the Rudolph Macon College. And this is the original campus sheet about the history of it. This is the original campus of the Rudolph Macon College. It is the oldest Methodist affiliated college still operating in the United States. And this was its first school. Chartered by Virginia General Assembly in 1830 and named for Congressman John Rudolph of Roanoke, Charlotte County, Virginia, and Nathaniel Macon of Warren County, North Carolina, the college opened its doors on October 9, 1832. Dadably Cosby, a builder who employed by Thomas Jefferson at the University of, Phil of Virginia, was a contractor for this building. In 1868, largely due to economic difficulties caused by the Civil War, the college was moved to Ashland, Virginia, which, where it continues in, in operation. This is the vacant building here. The vacated building later housed a Freedman School as well as a Boyden Academic and Bible Institute, which operated until until the mid-1930s. This is actually a piece of African-American history that is falling to ruin. Um, if you want to save this college, and there is a, a chance you can save it, we can save this. Um, it's a very important piece of history here in um, Boyton, Virginia, and losing it would be a, just a t t terrible loss to this town of Boyden and the history that it supports. Um, you can go to um, HTTP double slash. I have to write it down. So I'll just write it down for you. I know that it's hard for me to see it. So I'll write it down for you and get you information on it. So we can save this building and hopefully keep it open for generations to come and hopefully have it a place where our generations can see it. Okay, I'm Joshua Brown. Thank you for watching Unseen History. And don't forget, Look around you. History is everywhere.